Published, 1936 Eastern Standard Time, the 22nd of February 2019. Updated, 1939 Eastern Standard Time, the 22nd of February 2019. An Australian woman who died in an avalanche at the popular Whistler Blackcomb Ski Resort in Canada, slipped and fell off a cliff. The 42-year-old New South Wales woman was snowboarding at the resort on Thursday local time when ski patrols responded to an incident that triggered an avalanche, Whistler Blackcomb said in a statement on Friday. According to local police, the woman was snowboarding in an area that was permanently closed. An Australian woman who died in an avalanche at the popular Whistler Blackcomb Ski Resort, pictured in Canada, slipped and fell off a cliff, triggering an avalanche. Sergeant Rob Napton said the 42-year-old took off her snowboard and was walking before she fell. The Sydney Morning Herald reported, she lost her footing and started to slide down and went over the cliff, Sergeant Napton said. The 42-year-old then fell 200 meters, triggering an avalanche that also trapped her 36-year-old companion. Sergeant Napton said there was a small avalanche due to her fall, but it isn't the reason the woman slipped over the cliff. Royal Canadian Mounted Police said due to being in the dangerous area, there was a high chance she may have been injured even if there wasn't an avalanche. Authorities are continuing to investigate the death, which Avalanche Canada said occurred on, steep, rocky, south-facing, slopes. Human-triggered avalanches will be likely over the weekend, especially on steeper terrain, Avalanche Canada said in a statement. Royal Canadian Mounted Police said due to being in the dangerous area, there was a high chance she may have been injured even if there wasn't an avalanche. A woman was transported to Whistler Healthcare Centre, where she was pronounced dead. A 36-year-old man who was snowboarding with the woman was rescued from the same area, Whistler Blackcomb, Whistler Blackcomb Ski Patrol and the entire Vale Resorts family extend our deepest sympathy and support to our guests' family and friends, Chief Operating Officer Pete Sontag said. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade said in a statement it was providing consular assistance to the family of an Australian woman who died in Canada. An Australian woman has died in an avalanche while snowboarding at the popular Whistler Blackcomb Ski Resort, in Canada, stock picture.